morning everybody uh, live of the day after everybody's comments is slow cooking and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do some batch cooking the easy way and use my slow cooker my shopping has just been delivered and what I bought this time is lots of these like powdered packet kind of cheats if you like um, because all of these are going in the slow cooker whether they say they are or they're not but they are going in the slow cooker so this is kind of a little selection of things that I have bought. You will see that if I follow Slimming World, I write the sins on all the packets because I can't remember them all. So it's easy just as the shopping comes. If I write the sins on, then I know exactly where I'm at. The one I'm cooking today is this one. And it's a Balti. I've put this in the slow cooker before. It doesn't say it goes in the slow cooker. You can actually, you know, cook it on the hob if you want. You can use chicken or prawns. It's entirely up to you. I'm using chicken today and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it because, you know, don't be frightened by the fact that it, it says it is to be done on the hob. It, that's, that's just, it just doesn't matter. On the back, you've got the ingredients, um, which is fab. But on here, it says use um, a full tin of tomatoes. Now that would be great if it was on the hob because you could just turn the heat up and start reducing it down and thickening it. Because this is going in the slow cooker, what I'm going to do is just add less of the tomatoes and let the slow cooker add more liquid back into the dish. So this is how far I've got so far. As always in our house, I have to sweat down the onions. You don't have to do that, you know, it, this is for grain basically. So in my slow cooker, I am now going to put the onions. I'll tilt the camera in a minute, just let me... I have ordered a new tripod by the way. I can hear the squeals of delight. So the onions are going in. So here we go. Let me just move this. Um, I'll tilt it there. Right, so the onions have gone in. And what I'm going to do now, it says as a, add a green pepper. I, I don't have a green pepper. So in goes the red pepper. That's fine. I also have some mushrooms that are going off and as you're probably aware by now I don't do food waste. A Balti doesn't have mushrooms in, I'm quite aware of that, but if you're following Slimming World or a healthy eating plan it's always best to bulk your meals out with more vegetables. So in's going a load of mushrooms, um, which obviously as well if you're on a budget is a good way of sort of spreading the meal out. So in go the mushrooms. It says add two tea, two tablespoons of tomato puree. I don't know what that looks like. It's just a big dollop. It's not going to make any difference. So it's going in. Now today I am using chicken thighs. So these are deboned chicken thighs. The good thing about chicken thighs, even if they were on the bone, you could still put them in. Let the dish cook, remove them, and then take the bones out. Don't try and do it beforehand because it's such a faff on. So these ones don't have any bone in. And what I'm going to do is just cut them in half because they're quite big pieces. I mean, you know, that, that's quite a chunk of chicken. So what I'm going to do is just quickly chop those in half so we've got some sort of nice big actually I chop them in half again they're quite big I'm going to leave these bits out and take the fat off but I'll do that later I'll do that after I finish my live so any fatty bits because you follow in slimming world need to come off um, but I'll come back to that so again I've unrolled it it's quite a big piece I need to get all these little fatty bits off so that's fine I can do that and this pack of chicken was £3.50. So I'll continue doing that. And the next thing is the tomatoes. This is a full tin. If I was doing this on the hob, you'd have to put in the full tin. I'm going to put in probably just over half of this in the slow cooker. And again, because the steam comes up, it hits the lid, it turns to moisture, it drops back into the slow cooker. So we don't need to add lots and lots of liquid to it. And remember, there are onions in there, there are peppers in there, and there are mushrooms in there. And all of those things are going to add liquid back into the dish. So again, uh, about just over half the tin is going in. I will show you this. There you go. And next of all is the Balti pack. And as I say, this, 
This doesn't say it goes in the slow cooker, but believe me, it's going in the slow cooker. And I have used this before, so I know it works. And I do love a good curry. It smells gorgeous, so yeah. It's kind of just like a spice powder. It's just a huge cheat, to be quite honest. And as you know, I love a good cheat. So all of that is going in. Just get my spoon. I'm going to stir this around. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to show you how this looks because, again, this is where you're going to look at this and think it needs more liquid. It absolutely doesn't need more liquid. If you want to add more liquid, you can. You know, you can add a, a splash to slacken it off. But I know how my slow cooker works. And that is the other thing. All slow cookers work differently. They work at a different heat. This is a Morphe Richards 3.5 litre. It is a tin inner. It's not a ceramic one. So, you know, this heats up quite quickly. It's quite a hotty. So I always do things on low. The bigger the slow cooker the longer it will take. The less you fill it, the quicker it will cook. The more you fill it, the longer it will cook. And that, that's kind of how it works. But I'll show you this now. As you can see, that looks really, really dry. You know, you would definitely think, hang on, I need to add more liquid. Again, this is quite a, a good quality brand of tomatoes. They were on special, so I bought them. Um, what I'll do is I'll watch the cooking through the day, come back to it this afternoon and just see how it's looking. Um, I may have to add more tomatoes because it's a better brand and they're not as liquidy. And, there's, you know, you, as I said before, if you buy a cheaper brand of tomatoes, you know, you will get a lot more liquid. So, again, I mean, may need to add a little splash. I'm going to add some more chicken to this as well. And this is my batch cook Thursday because Thursdays are horrendous in this house because it's way day for me I maintain to this week which I'm really happy about after the weekend and it is shopping day so that's just a nightmare and then what I do on a Thursday is I also make Thursdays a batch cook day I always cook one meal this meal is on my meal plan for next week and what that means is if I hit a blip through the week I can just go to the freezer and pull this out and I don't have to worry about it. Done Slimming World for many years now. And I, one of the things that can knock you off is if you hit something midweek and you've got nothing ready, you tend to sort of just lose it for the rest of the week. So here we go. Um, what you're going to do, what I'm going to do now is pop this on low for about five hours, five, six hours. And then... Um, I'll come back to it and I will show you how it looks. But basically I'm cooking this today. I'm going to let it cool. I'm going to portion it and I'm going to put it in the freezer. Karen looks lovely. Oh yeah, I would definitely give this one a go. I have made this before. I made it last year. But we're coming back into that season where, you know, we need quick, easy meals that are filling, that are healthy, you know. And yeah, uh, Sean's just said the dreaded takeaway you know i'm the same comes to the weekend and i see ba i'm like take away but if i have things that are nice food what i call nice food like a curry or kebabs or things like that i can stay away from the takeaway so this is sort of my i know i've got some nice food kind of thing i can put some rice with it a little mini naan bread and i can sort of save all of those calories all of those sins be healthy and basically look after myself so that is my life today. I'm going to put this on low. I'm going to get the fat off this chicken and add some more chicken to the dish. And what I will do is towards the end of the day, I'll put a post up of how this looks. And if I did add any more tomatoes, I will let you know. But don't ever be scared of a packet that says it's not for the slow cooker. It's a, it's a packet of spices at the end of the day. So don't be scared to use them. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will catch up with you all later. Bye.